Hey everyone, welcome for another Elden Ring boss guide. This time we're talking about fire giants in the mountaintops, the mountaintop area. It, this boss is legendary. You find it right here in the southeast area of the, the mountaintops, just before, uh, you know, the, the, the big, the burning, burning cauldron up there. So this boss fight is legendary for being a very big gatekeeper for people to continue on to further areas in Elden Ring. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my strategy in taking this down. Now let's get started. And while we're getting started, I'm going to talk about my strategies. The biggest thing that you need to do is focus on the giant's left leg during phase one. When you get close, you'll realize that you, you can see a bit of a, a hair a hair splint around its leg. That's its weak spot during phase one. You can see it from here. The next thing I recommend is stay on your horse during this fight. Stay on your horse and bring some type of status effect if possible. You want things like bleed, frostbite, poison, scarlet rot. And I would recommend at least two of those if possible. You don't have to do this, but it does make the fight a lot easier if you do because the giant has very high physical damage negation. Now, of course, if you are using magic, you can just kind of do your magic thing. Just focus on his leg. Just keep hitting it. That's fine, too. But outside of that, the big thing is just focusing on his left leg during phase one. So I'm going to show how I do that. During phase one here, you will often do this attack right here. It's a bit of a wave. You just need to make sure that you jump over it. And then you just ride your horse into its leg and start swinging away. Just keep hitting that leg. Do not stop. Stay out of the way of its attacks. Don't let it stomp on you. Don't let it smash you with the shield. Stay directly underneath it. Keep hitting its leg until it breaks. And then just keep hitting it some more. You see after it breaks, after you break the splint, it will roll away from you and then start to cast some fire spells. You just run up to it, hit its leg some more until it walks away or starts to slam stuff again. You'll see as well that there is a fire orb out there as soon as they cast the fire orb spell. You can just, uh, you know, ride away from it. It's not a big deal. There it is. Just activate it right away from it so it doesn't hit you. And then as soon as you can, get back underneath it again so you can keep focusing on that leg. I call these the toe strats. Just keep hitting those toes, dude. Give me them toes, fire giant. Give me them toes. Okay, when it does its uh, AoE attack here, the, uh, you know, AoE attack, you need to get, get out of range. And then, you know, activate the fire orb when you get close, right away from it. Don't let the fire hit you. The fire can do some really good damage. You need to make sure you stay out of the way of it. Just stay underneath it at all costs. Now, now it's going phase two. This is where the fight gets hard, okay? I still say, I, I still say here, you focus on the toes. However, because it rips off its leg, you have to focus on the other leg. It does have a weak spot in its hand. Basically, any part of its body that's on fire is the weak spot. So it has, a, you know, the burning hands and he has the eyeball, which you can also hit. But I still say go for the toes. I know it seems like a, a weird strategy, but I promise you it works. You want to stay on the horse and you want to keep riding directly underneath it stay behind it, hit its toes, wait for it to roll, and repeat. Now, the reason why I recommend bringing at least two elements here is so that way you can start off the second phase with a different element and then start alternating them. So that way you can start applying those, those elemental effects, those status effects, a lot more often. I did a lot of bleed during that first half, so he should be very weak to frost in the second half because that's my other weapon. So let's get started with this. You'll see that I immediately ride underneath it. I equip my other weapon. I start swinging away at the toes. Now the giant will spend time casting some fire spells at the very beginning of phase two. Just make sure that you stay out of the way of it, okay? Stay out of the way. Keep hitting those toes. Do not stop hitting the toes. Do not stop hitting toes. Give me those toes, pretty please. See how much damage I just did? That was over 2,000 damage in, that, in just that little combo. Now you will see that he'll still cast the fire orbs. He will roll away from you. He will cast the, you know, projectiles. But the still, you just want to ride at him, get behind him, hit those toes. Hit those toes nonstop. As long as you're behind him, he has a hard time rolling at you. Dodge these fireballs, get behind him, hit the toes. Repeats. He will try to drop elbows on you and stuff like that. You can just ride under him like that. Hit the toes. 
You see how he's not able to roll on top of me when I'm back there? He can't hit me. He just can't do it. There's the big elbow drop. Let's apply the frostbite here. Should be soon. There's the frostbite. Let's switch to our other weapon and get out of the way. Don't let the fire hit you. Now that he's frostbitten, we're going to be able to, you know, just make him bleed. Again, stay behind him. If you do not stay behind him, he will roll on you and it will hurt. He does have a lot of physical damage negation, but with the status effects involved, he can't do a whole lot of damage to you. We repeat this cycle over and over. No problem. Easy peasy. Okay, here comes the fire. We have these fire orbs. Let's get ready. He's going to roll. We activate the fire orb. There's another fire orb here. Activate that one. Get out of the way. There he goes for the roll. You follow him. Here comes the projectiles. We dodge. We dodge. We get behind him. Give me those toes, baby. We ride at him again when he rolls away. He's going to drop the elbow. You dodge it. You get underneath him. Give me those toes, baby. Over and over, guys. Do not stop hitting those toes. Those toes are mine, baby. And there you go. That's Fire Giant made easy. Fire Giant made easy. We didn't take a single bit of damage during that. The toe strategy is highly effective. I promise you it will work as long as you stay on your horse and you keep riding and biting those toes. Maybe don't bite them. Don't be weird, okay? Don't, don't make it weird. Anyways, guys, I hope this video does help you. It, you know, Fire Giant can be tough, but with the toe strats, it's very easy. With that said, I'm out of here for now. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you soon for more.